In 1953, a woman named Helen Sussman was elected to South Africa's all-white parliament. And for 36 years, she played the role of progressive gadfly, uh, leading an often lonely vote against the policy of apartheid. She retired five years ago. Helen Sussman stood up for her principles. In 1985, she attended a funeral for more than a dozen people killed by police in a black township outside Pretoria. In a speech to the mourners, she called on the government to stop killing people in the townships and to lift the state of emergency. Many of the reforms Helen Sussman fought so hard for have become reality. And now she's a member of the Independent Electoral Commission managing and monitoring South Africa's first all-race elections. CNN will bring you continuous coverage live from South Africa throughout these historic elections. And now, I have to ask you a very simple question. After all you've lived through, after all you've seen, after all you've felt, did you think that you would be alive for this moment? Absolutely not. I never anticipated it. I didn't believe that the government which was in power was going to hand power over, because that's really what it's doing. Unless there was a coup d'etat or a revolution, and neither of those seemed impossible to me. Take us into the mind of uh, white South Africans you know. How do they feel right now? Well, they're very mixed feelings, obviously. There's a fair amount of apprehension. People who are worried about what's going to happen to the country, will standards go down, will their own standard of living be affected? All those sort of things. Will their children continue to have good education? I'm talking of white people, and that's, I think, the question you asked me. Indeed. Yes. Um, some are thinking of leaving the country. But, you know, I've been told that people are planning to leave the country. I frankly don't know of anybody who's actually going. But it may be because of my generation. I mean, the people who would be planning to go would be younger people. And maybe I just don't know them. But there are people who welcome this change to a new democratic type of life in South Africa. There are many, many South Africans. I was by no means the only one who hated the system of apartheid and who didn't like the injustices and discrimination. And those people, like myself, are delighted at the change. And what about the mindset of the black Africans you know? The black Africans are all elated. Some, of course, have got astronomical expectations, which I'm glad to say Nelson Mandela is attempting to damp down by informing them that the day after the election is not going to see everybody in a decent house and everybody with a motor car and everybody with a job. Those are going to be aims to obviously house people and to create jobs, but it's not going to happen overnight. And I think there are astronomical expectations that have to be damped down. A last question for your reflection. What is the essence of this nation, given her history, given what we're in the brink, on, a brink of, and given what faces South Africans? What's the essence of this nation? Her people? Well, I think her people are pretty tough. And, I mean, they've been through some difficult times. They're survivors. I really think they are. Helen's husband, thank you very much for All joining us. Nice to be here. Our pleasure to have you. CNN will bring you continuous live coverage from South Africa throughout these historic elections. And now, Helen, in London, back to you. <laughs>